Multi-page plots is a relatively recent addition to 12D that allows you to plot an entire set of plans. So all of the plan views, long sections, cross sections, etc., all at the click of a button. There's of course some customization to set up first, but as with all the other PPFs that we've created, once you've taken the time to set them up, you'll save a lot more time than that in using them. So to start off, I'm going to bring to the front the plan view one. I'll fix that view to the left side of the screen. Then I'll add the relevant design models to this view. These are the models which we'll ultimately show in our plan view plot. So let's add the models align, which is already on in the view, and cross sections RS1, design RS1, survey road, survey boundary tin, survey sewer, and survey UT water. And select add. So we're going to use a multi-page plot file provided as part of the training data set. And this multi-page plot file uses a key map within the plan views to let us know the location of the plan being viewed in the context of our overall design. So let's create another plan view called plot key map where we'll set up how we want this key map to ultimately look. I'll fix this plot key map to the left hand side of the screen too. So for now we're going to add the models align and survey road to this view. And add. So those plan view one and plot key map are the two views we're going to be using. So let's view the multi-page plot file we'll be using for the plot. So select plot, multi-page plots, edit, edit. Then we'll pick the folder icon and browse. Back to getting started basic. Then pick the stage one multi-page plot file. Then select edit in the panel. And that will bring up the multi-page plot editor. This panel is where we'll customize the file and this other panel back here is a preview panel of the current sheet being edited. I'll just move this to my other monitor because it tends to get in the way when I'm only showing one screen. As soon as we edit this specific file, this won't happen for other multi-page plot files, a model will be created in our project called plot frame, which has predetermined plot frame locations defined. These are not the same plot frames that we set up in the previous video. Let's add this plot frame model onto our plot key map plan view to include these frames in the key map and to see exactly where these frames are. So that's them there. And back in the multi-page plot editor, the multi-page plot file is set up in a book, chapter and page format. That is under the book level are one or more chapters and each chapter contains one or more page. Typically plan plots, cross section plots, long section plots, and so on, are broken up into their own chapters. There are also items which are able to be added to the plot. Uh, some examples of these are text, title blocks, symbols, and models. And these are used to display additional information in the plots. These additional items are able to be added at the book, chapter, or page level. So for example, if a certain symbol is assigned at the book level, every plotted page will have that symbol. Alternatively, if a symbol is assigned at a chapter level, only the pages in that chapter will have that symbol plotted. So you can see the first chapter of our book is for the plan views, just by the name of the chapter, which is here. The second is for the long sections, and the third is for the cross sections. If we expand chapter one, you'll see we have three pages set up in this chapter by design, one for each of the plot frames that were set up for us. Uh, if we expand page one, you'll see we have two frames set up on this page. The first frame is for the key map, which is referencing the key map frame at the book level. 
you'll see the key map frame there. This book level key map frame is referencing the plot key map view from our project, which we set up to look exactly how we want. Uh, then back into the second frame. This frame is for the display of our road data, which you can see is currently referencing view number one, which we set up in our project to display the road data. And that's why we set that view number one up the way we did. We want to make one change to each of these second plan frames, and that is to untick the add subnodes to model tick box, this one here. So we don't display the scale, the north arrow, and the sheet number within the key map itself. So I'll tick that off all of our three plan view pages. And you can see the plot key map plan view updating as we untick those add subnodes to model tick boxes. Then I'll just plot this first chapter to make sure it looks how we want it. I'll select the chapter one plan views chapter heading and then select plot. Twelve D will take a few seconds to generate the PDF. But then you'll see we generate one PDF that contains our three plan view pages. As we scroll through these pages, you'll see our key map update depending on the page we're referencing. So we'll close this PDF because it's plotting how we want. And then we'll move on to our next chapter, which is for our long sections. I'll expand that second chapter. And this red symbol here is what's called a special chapter. We use this special chapter to directly reference a PPF for cross sections, long sections, water long sections, plot frames, or water note diagrams. In our case, we have two of these special chapters, one in the long sections chapter, and one in the cross sections chapter. If I select this special chapter for the long sections, we're going to change the PPF referenced to the one we customized in the long sections video. So select the folder icon next to the PPF file field and walk right over the user library and select getting started long from there and select set to save the selection of the PPF then in the cross section special chapter, again select the folder icon, walk right over the user lib, and select getting started cross, and again select set. With those PPFs now referenced, we'll plot the entire book by selecting the book heading, and then plot. After a few seconds, the entire book will be plotted uh, into the one PDF with all of our plan, long sections and cross sections included. So our PDF's loaded and we can scroll through the PDF to view all of the pages. So we had our plan views. Now we're moving through the long sections and then we get plotted all of our cross sections. So there's a huge advantage to setting up these multi-page plot files because you're able to standardize and automate a significant amount of plotting into a single plot file, which can be used to plot an entire set of plans at the click of a button. To save this multi-page plot file in our user lib, select the folder icon and select user lib. Type in getting started multi-page. Then 
then select open and then write to save the customization. So now we have all of the customized PPFs that we've created through this video series saved in the user library. This is how you typically set it up, assuming that this user library is stored on a network server and able to be accessed by all 12 d model users at a company.